today, officers from the Joint Counter-Terrorism Team have charged four men with very, very serious offences. And we will be alleging that they were involved in a plot that they were going to carry out, which was a terrorist attack, which was resulted in the death of Curtis Chang in October last year. Curtis Chang was a police employee. He worked as a senior accountant at New South Wales Police Headquarters in Parramatta. On Friday the 2nd of October, he left to go home and he was shot and killed. 15-year-old offender had an exchange of gunfire with New South Wales Police Special Constables and he was fatally injured. So today the four men that we have laid charges against have had charges laid against them previously and since the 2nd of October last year. However, today's charge is one of the more serious of charges and it's a conspiracy to prepare for and plan a terrorist act, being the murder of Curtis Chang. The conspiracy charge reflects the entirety of the criminality that we will allege against these four men and it carries a life imprisonment. These men will also be charged with a range of additional matters. The 18-year-old uh, the, uh, from Guildford, he will also be charged with directing a terrorist organisation and he will also be charged with supply a pistol to an unauthorised person. And we will allege that this was the firearm that was used to kill Mr Cheng. A 20-year-old also from Guildford, he will be charged with membership of a terrorist organisation and supporting a terrorist organisation. And we will be alleging that the support that he gave was to facilitate the travel of the gunman's sister to Syria the day before the murder of Mr Cheng. We will also be uh, charging, in addition, uh, two other men, a 23-year-old from uh, Maryland and a 22-year-old from Marsfield, and they will be charged with membership of a terrorist organisation. It is very, very important for me to firstly say and recognise the outstanding work of every officer who works in the Joint Counterterrorism Team. They have worked tirelessly since October last year under very, very difficult circumstances, being the murder of a police colleague, and they have worked with integrity and they have worked with dedication. I would also like to assure the community that we will continue to do everything that we can to keep people as safe as we possibly can.